Question four is, do you investigate all incidents and have a process to record incidents, including near misses? This question is worth 20 points, and to get full marks, you need to show you record all accidents, incidents, and near misses, maintain an incident register, and a process for investigating incidents, accidents, and near misses. To gain full points, you will need to include evidence of at least one investigation into an accident, incident, or near miss, showing the investigation process, including closeout, which is where the incident is entered into your register. That doesn't mean there has to have been an accident where someone was badly injured. An incident could be a fairly minor event, a near miss, or an OMG event, where things could have gone badly wrong, but didn't thankfully. The value in recording near misses is if they are seen to be happening frequently, they can be investigated, which might help avoid a more serious incident happening in the future. Now this can be a tricky thing to document for smaller companies or sole operators who haven't had a near miss or any accidents to investigate, although everyone experiences a near miss at some point. Regardless of this, every company, large or small, needs to maintain an incident register, even if there's nothing to report. The register should be updated to say this. That shows us that people are keeping an eye on safety and reporting all incidents, including near misses. So, if there have been no accidents, incidents or near misses, record that in your incident register periodically. For example, no accidents, incidents or near misses reported for the month of February. To get maximum points, you need to show at least one example of an investigation into an incident, accident or near miss. Several examples would be better if you completed them in the last 12 months. Showing us that you have a process in place that has helped you decide whether an investigation into an accident, incident or near miss was required or not could also be provided as evidence and will help maximize your assessment points for this question.